What's going on? If you're looking for the latest NFL news and rumors, you're in the right place. I'm Mitchell Renz. That's Harrison Graham. We're coming at you with the latest NFL news and rumors around not just not just the NFL, but the Combine. But before we get to the Combine, this is a heck of a rumor. Because anytime anyone talks about Andrew Luck, I'm listening. Is he coming back? So somehow, Mitch, Jim Ursay casually mentioning Andrew Luck when reporters asked him about the quarterback position in Indianapolis moving forward, that turned into Andrew Luck's coming back, as it always does. <laughs> Pro football talk. It's not going to happen. This is wishful thinking. Of course, Ursay and Luck have a special relationship. He's never going to completely close the book on this dream until no, Luck, should he? <laughs> Luck's 37 or 38. And when you have Jacoby Brissett, uh, you shouldn't. This is the full quote, or at least the big chunk of it. Quote, I think in the end, honestly, the Colts will have an outstanding decade, and I think Andrew will have an outstanding life. Will those things meet? It's very possible, but it's also not possible. But we have to go on with the assumption that he's not going to be back. If he comes back, you know, that's easy. That's easier. So a bit cryptic from Jim Ursay, but at the same time, kind of just mentioning Andrew Luck casually, somehow that turns into, oh, maybe he's coming back. I would not expect it, expect it at least not in 2020, Mitch, but you can uh, understand why Colts fans and why Jim Ursay would like for Andrew Luck to come back because it was quite the drop-off there uh, to Jacoby Brissett in 2019. I mean, not only just the drop-off, I mean, you're looking at a player who is literally in his prime, and I would have made the argument, a top three quarterback in the NFL. Like, I really think that Andrew Luck was that talented. 39 yeah. touchdowns. I mean, you're talking about the NFL comeback player of the year. And then he's like, you know yeah. what? Eh, I think I'm good. I'm going to retire. It was, it just shook the entire NFL. It shook the world. If it wasn't for Mahomes having the 50 touchdown season, he would have been the MVP. He exactly. was that good for the Colts. They started, what, one and six and then made the playoffs? Yeah. He went crazy. And then, you know, the injuries just just caught up to him and he decided he didn't want to play anymore. I wish Andrew Luck the best in retirement. If he wants to come back, hey, I'd love to see it. I think it would be great for the NFL, but uh, it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Uh, I would not uh, take too much into this. I don't think he's coming back. All right, well, you kind of already answered this question. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, you might get hit with an ad break, but I want you to scroll on down while that ad is playing, and I want you to comment, will Andrew Luck ever play again? Type Y for yes or... Type N for no. Let's now talk about Dak Prescott. And is there a, a contract? Nothing. What I am worried about is every time Tom leaves, some crazy stuff happens. Tom's gone. Is Dak, is, are we going to get some Dak news? Well, this I wouldn't count this as Tom's gone and something crazy is happening. But this is noteworthy in that Stephen Jones said today that they haven't talked to Dak's agent since September, <laughs> since before the uh, 2019 season. What are we even doing here? Kicked off. It, that's not super surprising because a lot of teams don't negotiate during the season. So once a deal did not come into place last season, they just played the season out, right? Now it's a little surprising that the seasons for the Cowboys, at least, is almost two months old. And there's still been no discussions between the Joneses and Dak's agent. Certainly, Dak has talked about his contract a lot. The Cowboys have talked about the status with Dak a lot. But it seems like the two parties haven't talked together a lot. Now, uh, the question is, what's going to happen with the new CBA? Because the Jones says the Jones family says they're not going to make any new deals until there's a new CBA because you got to wait and see if they're going to have both tags in place. Got to wait for that to happen as well because Amari Cooper comes into place. Uh, they got to pay a lot of They team. put the tender tag on him. But uh, look, with what Dak did in 2019, he's not going anywhere. Stephen Jones did mention that as well. He is our quarterback, talking about the Cowboys, he said. So I wouldn't expect, I wouldn't be too worried here, but it's got to be a little concerning that there's no conversations between the Cowboys and Dak Prescott's agent. So what will Dallas do with Dak? Type T for tag, type P for play. I'm going to give some shout-outs now. I see Philippe says T for tag. Seeing a lot of people just saying pay. Noah Stanley, John Alterton, let us know in the comments what will Dallas do with Dak. T for tag or P for pay. Let's go to Aaron Rodgers and the best mustache in the entire league. But maybe they're moving on. If they're not moving on. Dylan says no, not the best mustache in the league. Let me know who's got the best mustache in the league. They're not moving on, but Packers general manager did mention recently that drafting a quarterback in the first round is an option. Now, the Packers have the 30th pick. Here's the quote from uh, Bryant Gutkunst. Uh, weird name there. Said that right. Double-checked. Oh. 
Everything I've been taught, that's Two where you words start. on back-to-back -back NFL daily. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I, I, I pronounce it. First Tom, it. now you. Roll the tape. I said it right. You start with the quarterback, so you evaluate them every year, and I think it's always on the table. It's a good crop this year. It's a good group of quarterbacks. I think it's a little deeper than it has been in the past. It will be interesting. Now, I do agree with him. I like this quarterback draft class better than in recent years. There's a couple you can get in round two where you at least feel like they have a chance to be a franchise quarterback. The problem, Mitch... The 30th pick is kind of a tricky spot yeah. because the top three guys are going top 10, Burrow, T Tua, and um, Herbert, barring medical with Tua. Yep. And then Jordan Love, I mean, maybe he falls to 30? I don't think he does. Though. I don't either. I think someone takes him in the 20s. So I think what's more likely here, Mitch, is Green Bay trading down from 30 and maybe drafting a quarterback in the second round. He's Rodgers' backup for a couple of years. And then, you know, 2022, maybe you have your next franchise quarterback. Fair enough. All right, so let's ask this question. Everyone tuning in live. We appreciate people who are watching live. And if you're not watching this video live, turn on the notifications. So over under three and a half years left for Aaron Rodgers. Type O for over. Type U for under. I'm going to type my O for under. What's your answer? Your o for under? That's what o you're going to type O for over. Oh, Mitch, get it together. So he'll be 37 next December. So if you're saying over three and a half, so four more years, that means – that fourth year, he'll turn 41. You still think he'll be the Packer or he'll, he'll be playing then? Is I that do. that what you're saying? I do. Okay. I'm going to say under. I'm going to say three more years. I think he'll retire at 40. I'm I think gonna, Rodgers will play three more years. I think he's going to keep playing. I think he wants to get in their Super Bowl. That's that's what I'm going to hope for. And also, the NFL is more entertaining with better quarterback play. And uh, I wish the NFL was uh, around because I've been stuck watching XFL games, and the XFL games are boring. I'll be honest. Games are low. But if you want to bet on XFL games – if you want to bet on NBA games, MLB, you can do all of that at BetDSI. It's the Internet's number one sports book. Use our promo code NFL120. It gets you 120% deposit bonus. You know how you spice up the XFL? You Johnny bet, Manziel. You bet on BetDSI. Chatsports.com slash bet. Bet on the Houston Roughnecks. P.J. Walker is actually pretty fun to watch. They're about the only team, though, so NFL 120 is that 120% deposit bonus. You know you're an addict when you're saying P.J. Walker is exciting. Okay, let's go to the next thing here. We're talking about the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine, it's here, Tom's there, drills and workouts are going to take place Thursday through Sunday, over 300 total participants. Yeah, Mitch, and we just wanted to outline a couple of news items here with the Combine. Quarterbacks, receivers, tight ends, they all measured in today. Uh, we'll get a couple of those uh, quarterback notes uh, for you in just a second. But that schedule, the on-field workout schedule is as follows. Uh, Thursday, you got the quarterbacks, wide receivers, and tight ends. Uh, place kicker, uh, kicker, special teams, offensive line, and running backs can't wait for these kickers to uh, to get out there in India. Then you got defensive side of the ball on Saturday too. and on Sunday. But all the attention today, Mitch, was on the quarterbacks, especially these four guys as they measured in. I mean, you got Joe Burrow, and I understand the whole hand size thing, but I mean, I watched arguably, not even arguably, the greatest college football season ever. I think Joe Burrow is going to be just fine. Yeah. Sure, two is six foot. There are people who are worried that he's a little bit shorter. Drew Brees is doing just fine. Justin Herbert, Jordan Love, I will say this. Measurements, they don't always do it for me, but I really can't wait to see Jordan Love and Justin Herbert at the Combine. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's going to be fun to watch those guys throw the football. Uh, obviously, Tua will not be doing that. He's there for the interview. The medical, which take note, Tuesday quarterbacks take their medical eval. Hopefully that will be released uh, by tomorrow. But uh, it'll be curious to see who drafts Tua and how that medical evaluation goes because – that is the biggest question mark around the Alabama quarterback. And it's a question that we're throwing at you right now. What team's going to draft Alabama quarterback to a – all right, Harrison. Next rumor, it's going to be around Amari Cooper, and he could potentially be going to an NFC East rival. To the Eagles. Mm, man, CBS Sports throwing this one out there. We talked a little bit about the Cowboys earlier with Dak. They're waiting on the new CBA to see if they have two tag – options or not. Now, this shouldn't be a surprise, right? If Amari Cooper's free, the Eagles are interested. Huh, I wonder why. Well, <laughs> they had no receivers last year, Mitch. Uh, Jeffrey got hurt. Deshaun Jackson. Every NFL team would be interested in Amari Cooper. Yeah, well, and especially a team like Philly, who uh, whose best receiver was Greg Ward, the Raiders. who was playing quarterback in the Alliance of American Football last year. That's how bad it got at receiver. And, you know, Cooper had a great year last year. Didn't finish super well, but he's certainly the top wide receiver or one of the top wide receivers hitting the open market almost 1200 yards eight touchdowns in 2019 I still don't think he's going anywhere but 
Philadelphia makes a lot of sense if for some reason Dallas and Cooper can't come to terms. I mean, when you consider what the Cowboys are going to have to consider paying, right? I mean, you're going to have to look at Dak Prescott, who I think is going to get over $35 million. Then you got Amari Cooper, the top wide receiver on the free agent market. Again, in my opinion, probably going to get like eight, 18 17, 18. I mean, and then you yeah. got Byron Jones, who's going to get a probably $16 million. So the Cowboys, they do have a lot of tough situ- uh, decisions to make. But him going to Philadelphia, man, that would be really funny. And let's be real. If you want to build around Carson Wentz, you got to get him more talent than this. Yes, I like Deshaun Jackson. Dude battled injury. Nelson Aguilar can't catch. He's a free agent, too. I doubt they bring him back unless his market's just terrible. Also, there's been murmurs that Jeffrey and Wentz don't get along. So if they can secure Cooper, maybe they trade Jeffrey as well. Do a little swap there, upgrade at the number one receiver. Our Sega Whiteside hasn't done much for me. They need talent at wide receiver. They're two best guys. They're pretty good when they're healthy. They're just not healthy very often. So where will Amari Cooper play in 2020? If you think it's going to be with the Dallas Cowboys, type C. If you think it's going to be with some other team, type your O for other and then be an overachiever and let us know which team you think that's going to be. I'm going to type my C for Cowboys. I think he's going to stay here in Dallas. I still think they find a way to get it done. Now, it wouldn't shock me if it was under the franchise tag. Okay. I very much think that is a possibility, but I do think he will be in Dallas in 2020. So we will have nonstop coverage for the NFL draft and NFL free agency. Don't miss a thing. Hit that subscribe button. So if you're watching the show right now live on YouTube, click that subscribe button. It says subscribe. It's big and red. If you're colorblind, it might be a little bit gray. You can see the link below, youtube.com slash TV. Send it to your friends. Last year, Harrison, we were the number one most watched NFL draft coverage. But uh, it's because we're a little bit ahead of everyone. And our guy Tom Downey is on the scene at the NFL Combine. He's going to be sending in, uploading some videos onto the channel. So turn that notification bell on so you know when all of our videos go up on the channel. Let's talk about one of my favorite wide receivers. Hell, one of my favorite players in the NFL. It's A.J. Green, once out of Cincinnati. I don't blame him. Yeah, so Jeremy Fowler wrote up a piece on several uh, impending free agents, and he talked to an NFC executive who said, A.J. Green wants out of Cincinnati, and probably not a surprise, but also not a surprise that he hasn't been allowed about it. If anybody could have complained about their situation throughout their career, it's A.J. Green in Cincinnati. He's been their best player for almost a decade now. Certainly, he's battled some injuries. He's missed 29 games over the last four years. Crazy. He hasn't talked a lot. He's never complained about playing with the dysfunctional franchise. But look, 31 years old, probably wants a fresh start and to cash in he one wants more to time win. and to chase a Super Bowl. I mean, he, running out of time uh, is I love AJ Joe Burrow. Green. It ain't happening with the Cincinnati Bengals. It, and when you think about just all these drama, all these divas at the wide receiver position, you got OBJ, you got AB. AJ has always just played and shut up. Yeah. So here's the one thing. We're going to be uh, – I really want to make this video, AJ Green Destination. So yeah. you've already kind of laid out a few of them. you got the Ravens, the Patriots, 49ers, Jets, and Eagles. If you guys don't like this list, let us know where you think A.J. Green could play. Now, Fowler mentioned the Ravens specifically, and I think okay. that makes a lot of sense. Physical, big, uh, you know, body catch radius receiver for Lamar Jackson. I think that you put him on the opposite of Marquise Brown. Brown slides into a number two role, which makes more sense for him. He was yep. a rookie last year being asked to be the top receiver. He's not ready for that role. You bring in A.J. Green with Brown, the run game, those tight ends. That's pretty exciting in Baltimore. I think that would be a hell of a so we talked about two wide receivers here on NFL Daily. You got to pick one. You're going to go with AJ Green. Or you're going to go with Amari Cooper. Type G for Green. Type C for Amari Cooper. This is if they're both completely healthy, by the way. Both completely healthy. Both completely healthy. Who you take? One year, I'll take AJ Green. I think so too. If it's two years or less, I'm taking Green. If it's three or more, I'm taking. I think that's where I probably draw. The line. I mean, both wide receivers have battled injuries, but I think if you're giving me one year, and that's kind of the thing that. If I'm A.J. Green, I want to get paid. Yeah. But I think if A.J. Green is smarter, or I shouldn't say smarter, I think he's probably only going to get a one-year deal because he's been so banged up. So G for Green or type your C for Amari Cooper. Are you watching? I hope so because we got a deal for you guys that I don't want you to miss. Go to chatsports.com slash NFL sale. we got NFL gear up to 50% off. Take advantage of these deals. They're not going to last forever. we got jerseys, T-shirts, jackets, sweatshirts, so much more. These hats, Harrison, I'm not a hat wearer, but uh, I saw James repping one the other day here around the studio. They're pretty freaking nice. Go get your guys some swag, chatsports.com slash NFL sale. Oh, that's a nice Lamar Jackson jersey. Can you get an A.J. Green Ravens? Green Ravens? Anybody? Oh, who says no? Ooh, that, that would look good in purple. Yeah, chatsports.com slash NFL sale, jerseys. 
T-shirts, hats, all kinds of stuff, up to 50% off. Let's go now to Darius Slay to the Rams. This is fun. I saw this rumor you put in here in the doc. I saw some tweets. Can't wait to see. Can't wait to see. All right, so talk to me about this rumor. Yeah, so I don't know how much substance slash real possibility this is of actually happening, but it's fun to talk about, right? Darius Slay. So Jalen Ramsey tweeted about the possibility of Slay and Ramsey teaming up. We know the Lions are shopping them. Not actively, but if they get the right offer, they will take it. They could draft Jeff Akuda as well to replace him in the draft. Now, here was the tweet back and forth between Ramsey and Slay. This is Ramsey's tweet uh, to, uh, tweet to uh, Darius Slay. Slay-Ramsey, uh, cornerback duo. By the way, he capitalized L-A and Rams there. See, see, he's, think he's thinking ahead here. He's ahead of the curve here. And then Darius Slay basically responds and said, dude, that would be totally unfair. Hashtag clamp. So... That'd be the best duo CB unit in the NFL. The problem is the Rams have a ton of big contracts. So how are you gonna? You gotta cut Jared Goff. And, and they uh, here's the thing though: they have 21 million in cap space, so you could do it, oh. but you don't have a first round pick the next two years, and you still have to pay Jalen Ramsey wrong ter long term. So I mean, there's no doubt when you talk about the I'll say two out of the five best cornerbacks in the NFL. Yeah. I'm putting Jalen Ramsey and Darius Slay, and you could argue that you got one and number two. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun here, okay? Who's better? Darius Slay or Jalen Ramsey, and I want you to take a screenshot, and I want you to tweet this at Slay, and I want you to tweet this at Ramsey, because both of them, they're definitely going to be typing either S or R. So let us know who you think is the best cornerback of these two, S for Slay, R for Ramsey. I'm going to type my R. Yeah, it's Jalen Ramsey. Slay's really good, but Ramsey, when he's locked in, I think he's the best corner. Last rumor on today's show, it's around Vontez Perfect, and you know what? It's not even a rumor, it's NFL news. So today, Vontez Perfect reinstated, even though apparently he was reinstated last month. Yeah, so for, uh, according to uh, Tom Pelissero, the NFL Network, the NFL quietly uh, reinstated him last month, so I, I don't really know how that works. I don't really believe that. Um, but uh, apparently that's the story here, but either way, we know the story. He got uh, suspended for the last 12 games of last year. Another helmet to helmet hit. Well, you, you're the Raiders guy. How many games has this guy missed in his career? Way too for many. For suspensions, like <laughs> 20 plus? I no, mean, dude has missed a lot of games. I think the only concern with Vontez Perfect is if he does another thing like this, he's probably going to get kicked out of the NFL. Yeah. I get it. He wants to play in 2020, but he is going to be a free agent. So we're going to ask everyone this question. Would you want your favorite team to sign Vontez Perfect? One for yes, two for no. The Raiders did make Vontez a captain. I still think he's able to play football. The thing you got to worry about, they're looking for a hit. One bad hit, he's done. Yeah, and that, that's the risk here. And this is his agent, a quote from him. I think this is important too. And this sounds great. Vontez has spent the entire offseason studying and learning the proper code of conduct for participation in the NFL. He has watched tape, talked with coaches, NFL experts, doing everything he can to confirm his passionate play to the rules of the NFL. The problem is, once you have a reputation, you can't really fix it. And I'm with you. Look, the guy became a leader in Oakland. Uh, obviously, they moved to Vegas now. He was playing pretty well in the four games, voted a team captain. The problem is, can you bring on a guy in anything more than a non-guaranteed backup role, knowing that one bad hit will cost him the rest of the season? I don't think you can. Whether that's fair or not, I think that's the reality of the situation. I think for the Raiders, they're a little bit different because they're so thin at linebacker where maybe they could bring him back. He could be a player coach. You just can't but I'll also him say, to start. I, I don't disagree with that. I will also say this. NFL free agency is very deep right now at the linebacker position. So uh, maybe that's some, another option you could go with. 